All right, here we go. Uh, hey guys, okay. it's Azure Kazia. Hey guys, it's Azure Kazia, and uh, I'm with Adia Mindada. Um, he's currently ranked number two in the Shogun ladder, and we're reviewing one of his replays. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Alright, so uh, you gave me a replay here against uh, Richard the 16th. Uh, why'd you give me this one in particular? Oh, well, you asked me for a replay and I thought this is a very close, good battle. He's a very good player. I didn't want to give you one of the, a noob or just a quick battle. So, I thought this one would be very suitable. Alright, very good. So, um, tell me a little bit about the units that you chose. I mean, to start off, this is a large battle. I mean, uh, a lot of people haven't even really seen these yet. I mean, a lot of people are still in small mediums. Mm. Well, uh, the units I chose, I chose, uh, I always, my, my specialty is archery, so I try and go for that. It was actually a mistake. I wanted swords, but um, since it's archery, I just uh, leveled up some archers and got them as vets, and I got a bow hero. Um, I wanted those to be, um, I don't rely on them a lot, I just use them to piss people off and draw them into me. Then I, I got a veteran uh, swordsman, a lot of lone Ashugaru, and uh, only two um, Yaris, only because, I mean, if he's got cave, that's, uh, that's what they're good for. I, I want to just smash my opponent once they come into me with my, my swordsman, so that is why I chose them. And of course, the cavalry, um, I tried to get great guard because they're very versatile. They have like a katana samurai, I mean, katana cavalry stats with melee and they have a great charge like Yari, so they're perfect. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that you even used Lone Sword Ashigaru, I mean, at all. I mean, uh, you, I mean, your, your lineup's very diverse, to say the least. Yeah. Well, I find that uh, if you notice, a lot of my lone Ashigaru are, are vets. Um, this this helps a lot because if you veteran up lone Ashigaru units, they're pretty much just as good as Katana Samurai, just without the, the morale. And that's what I keep my general for anyway. Alright, so back to the replay. Um, I notice at this point, uh, Richard's lining up on you. I mean, it almost looks like he's trying to flank you on, on the right side here. Uh, what is your... I mean, what are you trying to go for here? It looks like you're just trying to harass a little bit just to keep him off guard. Yeah, yeah, basically I'm just trying to, uh, to keep him at bay. Um, basically, he has no archers, so I'm at the, the position of I can just wait and sit and do what I want. So if he does not attack me, I'm just going to pick him off bit by bit with my archers. And my archers, I upgraded them with extra ammunition just for this. So, uh, he has to attack. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for, just waiting. So, what is the most scary part on on the battlefield right now? I mean, uh, I mean, you're pushing forward, I mean, you're very clustered together, and that normally scares me when I'm playing a game. I feel like if they get a surround on me, I'm, I feel like there's no way around it. I mean, a lot of your guys are all clustered uh, right up in the middle. Yes. In fact, uh, this is kind of my strategy. I like it close together. Have you ever watched uh, Gladiator where he says, as one? You know, he gets his men to get as one. Uh, right, I find right. that my units fight better just smashed up together. If you spread them out, then they're weak. They're weak alone and they get overrun by a bunch of units. And plus I've got a ton of Ashugaru units. It's easy for my general to, uh, to inspire all of them if they're all close together. And I keep in my back, I keep my main face the other way, and I keep my elite back there as well. So, he can't really get around me. Now, the part that I was amazed about was your stand and fight. I mean, I, I was amazed that he didn't even try to take advantage of that. I mean, your general's kind of just sitting there. Yes, yes. Uh, I did it in the forest, um, trying, I mean, he obviously could see it, but maybe his eyes could not, not I mean, because of the trees. He tries here to try and get it, but uh, I just quickly wrap around my cavalry and send my archer. I just put my archers there, so if he does try and charge me, he'll hit the archers first and to slow him down, getting my cave some time to go around there. Right, so it looks like pretty much your, your, your left side's practically practically dead, but I know, I remember they still sort of hold on 
I mean, the right side, I mean, it's very imbalanced. Your right side's very strong here. I mean, the black flank is holding on pretty well. Um, I mean, what are you thinking right now? Right now, in my mind, I'm thinking, shit, I have to kill the right side very fast, and then I have to move over to the left. And I'm just praying that my men on the left hold just a little bit longer. I mean, uh, when, when did you know that you need to lift up your stand and fight to, you know, get away? I mean, I, I always figure the general's the strongest guy here. If you lose him, the, the morale's gone. Yeah, well, I had to keep him there because if you know the states on the stand and fight, he, uh, he gives extra attack ability, morale, and uh, defense ability to all units, including himself. So the attack in stand and fight is, is going to be well defended. And I needed that stand and fight to try and uh, kill, I mean, hold the left and kill the right side. And as you can see, the right side is holding and, and almost defeating his opponent. So I, I get him out of there just in time. I put him on his horse just in case because I see he's, he's getting desperate, you know, but I mean, it's too late for him. We yeah, killed I mean, too many of his forces. I was surprised how quickly the morale just completely dropped for his units and just up and left. I mean, he, he won on the left, but, I mean, he took it, he, he ran away and you took him out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, once you upgrade your general with full morale, it's, it's very useful, and especially in this kid. Alright, uh, anything you have to say? I mean, after watching this replay, I mean, uh, what are your, what are your ending, concluding comments here? Oh, I have to say that um, if you upgrade your general with full morale, it's, it's extremely useful. As you can see in this battle, uh, I was completely overwhelmed. And uh, if you get a full uh, morale general and you pack your units together, it's very hard to beat you. It's kind of like a slow fist being inserted into a man's mouth and it just keeps rolling. So it's, uh, it's very useful. That is quite the analogy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks very much for the replay and the talk. I uh, hope we can do this again soon. Okay, thank you very much.